Recognize that? Fun, easy. Green's Clearwater Revival tune, Have You Ever Seen the Rain? We're gonna take a short look at this, more of a campfire look in this case, because it's really just a strumming song. Just one thing I wanna talk about as far as the strumming goes, well, two or three things. What we're gonna be doing is playing a lot of C chords, or a few, with G in the bass, because that's just how we did it in this case, at least in the intro. And that C with G in the bass then is played with four fingers. Your first and second fingers where they normally go for a C chord, but your third finger reaches down to play the G on the sixth string, the third fret. Then your fourth finger plays the C. Now, a lot of people have probably played this chord before and maybe thought of it as a full C or something like that. It's not. It's an inversion of C. And inversions of chords just mean you have something other than the root in the bass. So this is C with G in the bass. A C and a slash and a G. That's what that notation always means. C with G in the bass. When I sing through this or when I play through it, I'm really just going to use it in the intro because that's where it's most effective and, and, and stuff. The strumming though, we'll get back to the very first thing that happens in the strumming in just a minute. But what we're going to do in a strumming pattern here is I'm playing the C with G in the bass now just for the heck of it. We're going to be going down, up on beat one, and then on beat two we want to kill all the strings. Now this technique is a little different depending on what chord you're playing. So if I've got this C chord on and I want to kill the strings, I really just relax my hand and lay them all flat on the strings for that one stroke, but the tips of my fingers are still in contact with the where they're about to go back to. So let's go into the chorus first now. The chorus also has an F, which is even easier to do it on. Then we go to G. Now we hear the bass player Stu Cook plays a descending bass part when they do 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 Well, we're going to work that into our strumming here. So when we get to the C chord, the first C in the chorus, which is the third measure, we're going to change our strumming pattern to where we hit the bass note and then strum down up. So we're hitting C in the bass, and that B in parentheses is telling you we want to be in the bass here, but we're not changing the whole chord. 